I'm Anita Curtis. I'm one of your school psychologists at East High School. Um, I am out the rest of the school year, but I look forward to connecting with you in the building when I come back. Um, welcome to Black History Month. Thank you for the opportunity to talk with you about what Black, uh, black excellence means to me. And um, something that is important in, to share is for me, uh, celebrating Black excellence is not to diminish the excellence of anyone else. Um, celebrating Black excellence is important because it is acknowledging that the road to success um, for people of color in the United States um, is full of obstacles and challenges and is at times booby trapped. Um, so to celebrate that Black excellence and the achievements in the community is important. Um, but for me, Black excellence is not just about uh, name recognition or what you achieve or the sec success that is recognized. Um, for me, it is um, demonstrating resilience and grit and grace by all those who experience Blackness to whatever degree you experience it um, in response to daily challenges, um, unintentional or intentional insults. So for me, um, when you find yourself in that space, because you will, where you are the only one, um, it is remembering that no one else gets to define for you what excellence or success looks like. It is remembering that people have done this, done that, been in that space before you, people will be in that space after you, and that I work now in, in service of you so that when you have those times that you can square your shoulders and know that you come from a long and proud tradition of incredible resilience, um, remarkable grit and the capacity for grace um, in, in situations and, and, and scenarios that are hurtful, insulting, and challenging. So that, if you can do those things, then you are exhibiting Black excellence. And Black excellence is something you exhibit every day. So I just want to say I'm just honored to even be uh, sitting in this conversation. What a gift. I wrote down some thoughts, but I think just to point out that Black excellence to me means freedom. It's always meant that freedom to be who you are, freedom to say what you want without other people defining it for you. That's something I wrote. If you think as a high school teacher that you teach the subject that is on your door, you are wrong. You are most likely suffering from form over substance thinking and need to shift your thinking to substance over form. And we all know what this form of thinking is, and most of us don't like it. You know, the thing that where as long as it looks good, it doesn't actually have to be good. Form over substance. It's Instagram highlight reels. It's hashtag activism. It's brand over quality. It's political party over the half the country. It's the modern American educational system in a nutshell. With its standards over the individual, it's testing over knowledge, it's color over character. Most of what we see now reminds me of why I really value real wood over veneer. Because if you scratch Ikea furniture, you're more likely to throw it away. But if you scratch grandma's buffet, you get it restored. Well-made furniture lasts. And it's, what behind, it's what's behind the paint that proves it. This is because substance matters. And even more so when we speak about our students. To prove this, think of one of many teachers that have impacted you, changed your life. One teachers out of countless of teachers in the system that saw you, not the form, but the substance, the inside. 
past the test scores, the grades, the clothes, the friend group, the neighborhood, the race, the culture, the bodies, the frame, the form, and saw our insides, our substance, our core, and believed that we were amazing, and I'll draw out the substance, and believed in a form that we could not see yet. Now, if the number goes past your first hand, I will be shocked. And at best, most of us have had just one. My one teacher was named Nancy Vogel. And she's the reason why I pursued a life in education. You see, in elementary school, the administration wanted me uh, to, to place me in the category of special education. And that's because my wild imagination, my short attention span, and specifically my poor test taking skills. My mother refused. Consequently, I went through most of my schooling believing I wasn't as smart as others. I know, it's ridiculous. And even now, I feel that. Even now, I'm haunted by those labels of the past. It wasn't until I met Miss Vogel while attending a lunch improv performance when she yelled at me to put my damn lunch down and come up on stage and play. <laughs> I remember uh, putting my lunch down and walking insecure and afraid. <laughs> But I played, I laughed, and I bombed, and Miss Vogel pulled me aside. And she told me I was brilliant. She saw something in me, in my form, that I could not see. Miss Vogel inspired me through the power of belief. She saw the substance of greatness inside of me and held me to that standard not the standards of the state of Colorado or a grade or a rubric, the standards of grades, greatness inside of me. It didn't matter the form, the past, the grades, the insecurity, she cared about me. She thought I was brilliant, not her curriculum, not the grade, but me. Now, as I speak to you as a teacher, as a, to a group of educators that are in school right now, I am reminding you entreating you, inviting you to stop teaching to the test, the standards, or even your curriculum. Because you don't teach your subject. You teach students. The forms, they don't matter. The students do. Hello. I'm Mr. Newton, and I am the long-term stuff for Mrs. Galtney. I teach civics and AP psychology. You also might have seen me around the halls. Last year, I worked with Mr. Hernandez in sociology and honors geography. Like yourself, I went to East High School. I graduated in 2012, so it's been a while. Um, but at East High School, I got to see so much diversity, which I loved. I love East because of the diversity that it does have. Um, while I was at East, I got to learn about different histories of Black people and the diversity, diverse history of, uh, of Black people. I learned about the civil rights leaders like Stokely Carmichael and Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. I learned about the amazing music musicians like Chuck Berry. Um, I learned about writers like Maya Angelou, Langston Hughes, um, Booker T. Washington, and so black excellence is still happening today with that diversity there's so many different black people who are just doing amazing things in amazing ways we have the poets we have writers authors we have brian coogley who's writing these marvel movies black excellence to me is all these different black people doing amazing things it's black people the first black um anime career uh, studio in japan that's amazing just so many different ways I mean, myself i love anime and so it's amazing to see black people embrace that and have our the very own first black owned japanese studio making anime for black people um one of the quotes that i love um i love childish gambino and so one of the quotes from one of his songs is um white kids get to wear whatever hat they want when it comes to black kids one size fits all and to me, black excellence is not that one size fits all motto. It's that multiple hats, that fitted hat where each one of us has our own different style, own different way of doing things. And so black excellence to me is just expressing ourselves in our own ways and doing amazing things as black people. 
and we see it every day. I have a black therapist who's amazing. I have my mom, she's amazing. And show me what shows me different aspects of what a black woman can be. My aunts, my wife is a nurse and she's an amazing black nurse. I know black doctors, black lawyers, my barber, the community of black people in Park, Park Hill, Five Points, the cooks, the janitors, the custodians, we have so many different black people all over and all around and black excellence to me is just that diversity and diversity within a community. We're not that one size fits all. We're just a bunch of different fitted hats, right? <laughs>